द आर्ट ऑफ ओवर थिंकिंग ओवर थिंकिंग इज द आर्ट ऑफ क्रिएटिंग प्रॉब्लम्स दैट वायर एंड इवन दे आर द ट्रूथ इज ओवर थिंकिंग कॉज इज मेंटल डिस्ट्रेस वेन पीपल से दे ओवर थिंक दे मीन दैट दे आर फिक्सेटेड ऑन समथिंग दे हैव टनल विशन ऑन एन आइडिया और प्रॉब्लम थिंकिंग अबाउट थिंग्स आउट ऑफ देयर कंट्रोल एंड लेटिंग all of it entrapped their internal serenity everyone does it at least once in their lives thinking is a gift but not many people use it for their own benefit dissecting is in the same as overthinking when you dissect you analyze every small detail to find a solution or to arrive at the truth but when you overthink you find yourself stuck in the same place not making any progress it means dwelling on the same problem rather than solving it sounds useless doesn't it two common forms of overthinking are about the past and about the future we might recall experiences obsessively either happy or sad ones in order to leave them again doing that is fine in healthy amounts but if you obsess over it you need help we might regret choices we have made things we have said or haven't said but we all know we can't change the past instead of avoiding it you should accept it and instead of obsessing over it you can learn something from it then move on try not to think of how it made you feel but what you can take from it and do or not do in the future in a similar situation we learn from mistakes you shouldn't cause yourself to suffer all over again after an embarrassing or painful circumstance the past is to be learned from not lived in avoiding it is one way you can engross yourself in music a tv show or a book occupy yourself with anything you enjoy that's the lazy way if you want to deal with it in depth and stop it from tormenting you then you need to do it actively you could write your thoughts down the past experiences you can't stop thinking about try to remember them in full detail as much as you can describe them intensely Prolonged exposure is a form of cognitive behavioral therapy that focuses on facing trauma related memories rather than avoiding them. It helps ease the pain of some memories, even stop you from thinking about them as often. Maybe you might need to change your perspective. Stop looking at everything that makes you feel down, but consider every aspect. All that is good bad neutral and all in between meditation relaxation mindfulness yoga helps to create a rough schedule of what time of the day and for how long you want to do it even 10 minutes is enough it's important to remind yourself of what you can and cannot control when we are filled with anxiety is just us waiting over the things that we cannot control people might start expecting either positive or negative things to happen and in both cases it can do damage to us let me explain if you have high expectations and don't think of what can go wrong you are threatening your own mood in the case something does go wrong people with anger issues usually have them because of their incredibly high standard and expectations from people and life and when we get angry it's from the same reason it didn't go as we anticipated it to on the other hand if you think that everything will go badly it's simply you being pessimistic which can make you feel gloomy thus it can impact the atmosphere your perspective your emotions and the emotions of people around you so be open to anything that can happen 
The only thing we can be certain about is that we cannot be certain about anything. Many things are out of your control. Thinking about it won't do anything but make you anxious and increase the chances of negative situations arising. People are able to adapt to situations but we sabotage our own ability to do so by limiting the range of possibilities we think about or the opposite. Think about the uncertainty in an early way that actually abstracts our decision making. Maybe not thinking at all is better at this point. Each time we worry, are stressed, feel down or become angered, we are slowly killing ourselves, shortening our lifespan. So I think it's a good idea to do that less. Thank you for hearing me out. Please share our content and if you are new, please subscribe to our channel. Your subscription helps us create more notable content.